Then gasoline. When I was working at Elder Beerman, I used to have to do all these bows on all these Christmas trees and all these gifts that were like displayed throughout the store. And then I remember this customer had come up to me. And she was watching me make these bows and she was like, oh, let me show you something. And she had like cut a piece of cardboard and was showing me this technique where she was kind of like wrapping it around that and then just kind of pinching it and sliding it off to kind of keep them all the same size. So there was some consistency with it which was really cool and something I've been even using like tonight when I was making them. Um, but something that was really special and interesting about that interaction was when she was showing me, she was like sort of like obsessing over it, like wanting to like make sure she showed me it like perfectly on how to do it. And then when I like saw her, you know, when she was back with her partner, her husband, I'm assuming, I could see through like their interactions and I forget what he had said, but I started putting different things together that like from our own interactions and then what I saw with him and her. And then I saw that she had um, some stages of Alzheimer's is what it was. So she was kind of like obsessing over it and like wanting to make sure it was perfect because it was like something like she knew and you know, I don't know exactly how it played out in her mind, but she wanted to make sure she showed me the right way of how to do it. And I was just really inspired by that moment. And it's still something I'm even like doing today to create that consistency so that they could all be the same. Very hands on, very foot sewing. <laughs> Tight, which are going to become the straps to these shoe cuffs. On the top. I really like it. Lift up just a little bit and up. I mean, it's all just paint, you know. 